deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah episode of PXT's 19.1. So how we're going to do this, pretty much we always have seven matches throughout the entirety of the show. Um, we're going to split that. So tonight will be three matches. Tomorrow night will be the rest of the four. Uh, tonight we are going to be starting off with the rematch that happened two weeks ago. For people who don't know, uh, Abkul and Mox went one-on-one -on -one against each other for the PXT Hardcore Championship. Now, that match actually was not an Extreme Rules match or a Hardcore match. We're just going to call it a Hardcore match. It was not that type of match due to Mox's uh, concussion and having major injuries after coming out of two Carnage matches, or correction, two Hell in a Cell matches. And uh, holy fucking shit. Somehow, the man was not only able to... Uh, fight his own against the nation in that cage. Don't get me wrong, they still lost. But he was able to defend and successfully defend his hardcore title. But when PXC came along, we decided to give him a bit of a break to where no crazy shit was gonna be a normal match. And Abco was able to prevail. But because of that, because we did go back on what we said the hardcore title was, which is a hardcore championship that means every time it's defended in a hardcore match. He said, fuck it, we're going to give him a rematch. This is the only time, the only time we will do a rematch clause for the Hardcore Champion. For now. The reason I say for now, because some shit like this might happen again. So, heads up there. Now, with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump on in to that match. That's right. It is for the PXC Hardcore Championship. It is Max going against Abkol. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for one fall, and it is for the PXC Hardcore Championship. Well, goddamn, he said. Apparently, he he's, he has loved standing in the ring. Everyone's cheering for it. So now, ladies and gents, here is. One half of the PXC Tag Team Champions, Mox. Now, I'm confusing you. Confusing you know, this after what the four, maybe six months I've been here. So, Mox. <laughs> I don't want my brain to break right now. <laughs> Mox and Rocky, the Wolfpack, were able to successfully retain the PXT Tag Team titles on our last episode. Well, correction, not the last episode, two weeks ago, actually. See, this really editing is already fucking me up. They were able to successfully retain the PXT Tag Team Championships. Can Mox do it here with the Hardcore Champion? Can he be a two-time? Double champion, and no, he will be the first man to ever do this in PXT. Also, we can't hear the crowd on the motorcycle. Good. Oh, never mind. There it is. <laughs> I actually don't know why. Wait, why was that muted? I generally don't know why that was muted. Okay. Thank you for telling me that now. <laughs> Yes, Abko. Now Abko was trying to be the third man ever to hold two titles here in PXT. And no, if he did win last week the TikTok Championship, if somehow, some way he did, he would be in absolute hell. The reason I say that is because he would have to defend that each title back to back every fucking week. So one week hardcore, next week TikTok, one week hardcore, next week TikTok. It would be fucking insane. <laughs> so honestly, I would say it's a good thing he didn't win. But now the question is, is he only gonna hold this title for two weeks? Mox, I believe is our... I, I don't know, is Mox our longest reign hardcore champion? I genuinely don't know. 
have to look into the record books of that because I don't know who the longest reigning PXT hardcore champion is. If it's not Mox, it would have to be D-Mob. With that said, we're going to go into that more of that info later, but right now, we're jumping in to the ring. Goddamn. Introducing first, the challenger. He is one half of the PXC Tag Team Champions and representing the Wolfpack, Mox! And his opponent, he is the PXC World Hardcore Champion, Abco. Mox can retain, though. True. Yeah, actually, if Mox does retain, I think technically, they, yeah, that'll go along with his uh, longest reign on it. Because it goes like that with Hulk Hogan, since technically he's the longest reigning WWE Champion. That's why Roman's trying to break it. Because then Roman's the best of the world. He's the new Hulk Hogan, but he sucks. <clears throat> okay, he doesn't suck. It's just I don't like what they did with him. He should have been like Gunther, man. All right, here it is. Abko. Okay, Abko was going straight up in there. Mox, though, feeling refreshed, feeling energized. I think him... Not only him getting a week off... But also just the fact that he was able to successfully retain the tag team titles with his partner Mox. Oh my God! Correction, Rocky. I think it. I think it energized Mox a bit. But not just that. Abko has actually. Abko. The closest thing to a hardcore match Abko has been a part of was a Last Man Standing match. The only Last Man Standing match we'll ever see in PXT was at Bio War with him against Adonis and. With that, he was able to pick up the win, but I would say barely. If it was a one, two, three thing, I think Adonis would have came out the winner. He should break the record, put like 200, maybe 300 days on there, and then drop it to Cody or LA. Well, that's the thing. Uh, for Roman to beat that, he would have to hold it, I believe, till SummerSlam of this next coming year. I think I could be wrong on that because I heard that he would have to retain at WrestleMania. Hey, Punch, how's it going? Right now, Mox is looking to retain the PXC Hardcore Championship against Abco since their first match was not. Uh <laughs> <laughs> he just fell box like son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit was funny. <laughs> oh, oh, that was funny. It's funny. <laughs> this is the first match of the night. Yes, tonight we are only gonna have three matches, mainly because uh, episode 19 is gonna be split into two parts. This is gonna be our, pretty much our whole special for the Christmas stuff. My God, series of punches from the hardcore champion. So tonight will be three matches. Tomorrow night will be four matches. In other words, that's how we're going to be speeding it up. At least they catch up to Frost Fight, which is going to be this Sunday. My God, my God. And Drew Jeffrey has entered the building, ladies and gents. My God. See, this is, this is what I was talking about, though. This is where Mox really prevails in, like, hardcore matches. Because Abko's been struggling to take off. And I mean that. He's been really struggling. He's getting the upper hand now, but he has to keep hold of that. 
Hunter, read my damn shits. I refuse. What did you say? <laughs> Howdy, your lover is fighting. Wait, what? <laughs> Love, wait, what? <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute, I can confirm Mox is not gay, I should know! He, uh... Uh... Gave me sweet kisses last night, I'm joking. First match, yes, this is the first match of the night, because uh, part 19 is going to be split into two parts. So tonight we're only going to have three matches, tomorrow night will be four, and then Sunday will be Frost Fight. Ooh, shit. All right, well, it looks like Apko's looking to come back at it. Now, using the ladder that... Who said the ladder was a Mox? Because holy shit. Hey, Mr. Tristan Wildfire here. Am I booked tonight? Not tonight, uh, but Devil is actually... That's going to be our main event for tonight because we're only doing three matches. The main event tonight is... Oh, wait, wait! Mox! Asylum! Till the hardcore champion! Is that enough to retain the title? No! Correction, to attain the title. So the main event is actually going to be Abko versus Devil, but the Unholy will be at ringside for that match. If Devil wins this that match tonight, he will be at Jacob Tristan Wildfire ringside for Frost Fight. If not, it's a one-on-one -on -one match between Wildfire and Electro for the PXC Championship. Oh, shit! He is oh shit! I'm going to fly! And he puts him through the ladder! I'm not going to lie to y'all, I thought he was going to miss. Holy shit! PXD Tag Team Champ in the building, me and Mox, yeah. Yeah, he... But I get to TV to himself, shit, dude. Mox is like, I'll, I'll get this one. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, wow. Hey, what the fuck? That was, that was some sweet offense. He did a baseball slide to trip up the hardcore champion right now. My God, we're already starting off big at this point. Well, I changed my mind. Abko is winning based off that spot alone. I don't know, man. Mox went through hell at... Uh, Carnage in the Hell in a Cell match, he was still able to prevail. That was smooth as fuck by Mox. That actually was. <laughs> That's how he slides into the DMs. There's a reason. There's a reason Mox was in jail. He was in jail because he claimed too many bitches. That's right. God damn, dude. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Shane did not like it. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, God, dude. I thought he was going to land on the fucking back part of that uh, still steps. Like I said, though, Mox has been really prevailing a lot more than uh, Abkul in this match. But that's... Oh, ooh. Dropkick to the back. That's actually pretty... That could actually be pretty bad for Mox, mainly because of that spot that just happened with the ladder. I don't... Okay. <laughs> I don't know why they never go to the crowd. That barricade can be broken. But for some reason, they can never go over it. Oh! Kendo stick straight to the face! Out goes now! Oh, yeah! All his frustrations but get caught! And I'm catching Neckbreaker! My God, he just, man, he practically killed Apkel, and Mox is standing tall over the hardcore champion. All right, okay. Don't get cool. <laughs> Thought of they're breaking the breaking the laws of physics here tonight, and goddamn, now Apkel's dishing more punishment to Mox, giving him a little bit of a receipt, if you will. You and Amor are divorced. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hold up, wait a minute. 
Didn't that affect his, like, chance and Abkul dove on his chest? I would think so. Honestly, yeah, because I think Abkul might have the actual playing field. See, whenever I say that, the, the other guy takes over. Whenever I say one person has an advantage, the other guy just takes over. Yeah, that's a heat in the chat, my boy. I was, dude, I was like, oh, God. Well, that breaks up one plan I had. <laughs> right now, both men. Man, they just keep breaking the laws of physics. His fucking feet are through the goddamn barricade. <laughs> what the hell? Why'd they get divorced? Yeah, that's actually a good question. Well, what led, uh, what led to the divorce here? Oh, oh, Mox trying to go in for the kendo stick. Abko though getting him. Now get. Oh God, are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see it two time here? Oh, just dishing punishment to Mox back. Uh, women. What? <laughs> oh, Mox getting Abko up. Oh, oh shit! Wait, that busted him open? He landed face first onto the ladder. Yeah, he did. Now, oh, big belly to belly. Makes sense. God damn it. Now, Mox getting the champ back in the ring. Mox possibly looking to end this year. Thinking that's enough. Is that enough to put the hardcore champion down? One, two, no. Abkul is still going. We're going to see Slade tonight, Hunter? No, not, not tonight. Tomorrow, though, maybe. Mainly because uh, now I got to change some stuff. <laughs> Let's say we had a plan. God dang it, the controller. I got the streak to be the chip and you move the thing. Oh, this thing's on too. Fuck. Mox was hitting this. Mox had hit the straight jacket off the hardcore champion somehow. Somehow, Abko's still in it. But here's the thing Abko's not in his element at this point. He is not. He is not in his element. Oh, missed it. Oh! Big forearm. Big jumping forearm from Abko. Could this be the shot he needs? Abko now taunting. Oh! Mox and no, honestly, oh my god, dude, that was straight to the face. Mox now, oh, I called this up, dodged it. And now, oh, beautiful reversal from Mox to the champ. Is that enough to put him out on commission? One, two, no, Alcool is still in it. Oh, now Mox looking to make Alcool tap out. To tap out here tonight. Is that gonna happen here? Are we gonna see a submission for the hardcore title? No! Abko's not done. Abko still has some fight in him. Surprisingly. He's out of his element, but holy shit. He's giving it his all. But we will be seeing any other of my guys tonight. Not tonight. Tomorrow night, maybe. Maybe, because I do gotta make some changes now. Because I did have a thing uh, set up. But uh, now, now I actually do gotta change some stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, Mox! Asylum! I think that's it! I think that's it! Is that enough? One! Two! Ladies and gentlemen, Mox is the first man ever to be a two time double champion! because uh, this match uh, was requested 
Mainly because uh, last week, Adonis in the main event disappointed not only the fans of PXT with his easy victory against CG, not only did he disappoint the fans, he disappointed the locker room. When everybody saw Adonis get out of the Viper Lock and actually putting CG through a good amount of damage, honestly. We thought he was possibly gonna be the one to do it, to put down C. Jill once and for all. But instead of that, instead of actually trying to drag him back in the ring and end it, legitly, to see if he can put down C. Jill, he decided to take the easy way. He promised to win. He didn't promise how he was going to win. And with that, he won B a count out. And now everybody in the back just looks at him with disgust. They all, even I look at him disgust. I'm like, motherfucker, you had opportunity! But it pissed off one man way more. A man that actually went to war against CG. And that was Rocky Makado. Rocky Makado demanded a match against Adonis. Mainly because not only did he disrespect the fans of PXT, he disrespected somebody that he shows high respects for C. Jill. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Adonis going one-on-one -on -one against Rocky Makado. A thing. But now that they're divorced... <laughs> um, yeah, that plan just uh, ship sail. There he is. Surprisingly, you hear some cheering in the crowd. Apparently, not everyone has fully given up on Adonis, but the locker room, the locker room is hella disappointed in this man. Now uh, that plan can, can still work. I don't know if it can, only because, like, I don't know, I picture if it's a divorce, they're not going to work together. <laughs> it would have made sense if they lost and then boom, the divorce, but it, it, it already happened, like, off screen, so... I'll be honest with y'all ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how this man can sleep at night. He had the opportunity to not only defeat the undefeatable, but that could have also earned him a future shot for the title as well. You pretend it didn't happen, Brad Drew. All jokes. I guess the side. Wait, what? I I did it. I think I did it. I don't know what that said. Psst. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. has gone against Please tell me all the bad the likes of, of everyone he has yeah. came across in WWE, thoughts, but he has not came across anyone like this man. Rocky Makado, when he debuted, he lived by the creed of why she is steel. And that's what he did to earn himself a shot in the division that he's in. Then not just there, he went on to win the PXC Tag Team Champions and become the first ever PXC Tag Team Champions, but then went on to actually become the second man ever to hold the PXC YouTube Championship in a ladder match. Rocky has made fucking waves here in PXC to where Adonis hasn't done jack shit. And honestly, I think that's one reason why Adonis accepted this match as well. Because I believe he wants to try to stop the momentum of Rocky Makado. But now the question is... With both Mox and Rocky competing here tonight, is the Outcast watching very closely now? My chat didn't go through, and I guess it means I don't give a shit. Gotcha. Oh, look at that. Oh, Rocky already getting him with a snap DDT and already going for the pin. Look at that. Just already showing disrespect to a former WWE champion, I want to point out. Oh my god, hits him with a Samoan drop. So, this is what I was talking about. Rocky has made waves here, but 
Oh, look, Adonis now. Adonis looking. Little more sleeper. Rocky not taking it, though. And Adonis now taking a little bit of control and hits a brain buster, but doesn't get the roll-up attempt because, I mean, it's on the outside. I don't know why he would even go for that. They certainly are even when 18 gets uploaded. <laughs> I do want to ask, uh, I do want to ask, how, how, do, how do we, who do we think is going to actually win the, like, all the titles that are coming this Sunday? Because we have, we have Jacob Tristan Wildfire and Electro going for the PXT Championship. Now the question is, is he going to be alone? But well, we have that match, and then we have the tag team titles, the Outcast against the Wolfpack. Ooh, big punch there from Adonis. Now, we don't know about the TikTok and the Hardcore Champion, because those those competitors are randomized. Cool, big headbutt. But for those titles, so who, who do we think is going to win? For the ones that are guaranteed um, spots, in other words. Ooh, big springboard forearm from Adonis to Mercado. To be honest, Electro C. Jill, obvious. Probably Wolfpack Mox than whoever facing the TT Championship. Yeah. I don't know. I think Genix, I think Genix might actually like be our longest champion. I, I think he could probably do it. Because he's already, I think he's already defended the title th three times, actually. No? No, he's been in three title matches. But he's only had two title defenses. Ooh, big punch. Right now, oh, look at the Adonis! Going for the Adonis drop on Rocky Mercado! Oh, but he's not done. Oh, he wants to hit it. Oh, he was going to go for the Kienzan knee strike, but misses it. Now Rocky goes to the top. And oh, hits a diving drop kick to Adonis. Nah, I'm fucking joking. Al Castro win. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think there's a lot against the Outcast right now. The reason I say there's a lot is because they're going against not just champions. They're going against... One former double champion and a current double champion right now. Oh, big sling blade from Adonis to Rocky. But now, th now this is the thing, though. We're seeing Adonis actually prevail here. Why couldn't we get this with C. Jill? He had the fucking opportunity. He could have done it. Like, we are seeing him actually go to town on... Well, okay, not like that. Not like that. But we know what I mean. But he is actually holding his own against someone like Rocky Mercado. And for some reason, he took the easy way out. And now, Rocky was able to push C. Jill to the limit. I want to point out. These are the only two men that have been able to push, not push C. Jill to his absolute limit. One tapped out. The other man got out of it, though. What do you mean? I was so confused. I just said yes for something. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, look at this. Mercado giving a little bit of disrespect back to Adonis. Look at that. Wow. That was a little bit of shade and a callback. That was a little bit of shade and a callback to last week's and now Rocky looking to rally here tonight. All right, Rocky going with the pin on Adonis, looking to put him down. No. So, pretty much, uh, we had a night. Well, there was a match idea for tomorrow, but I might have to change it since. Oh, went for the frog splash. Adonis now gets out of it. Oh, and here it is. Mach 2 to Rocky Mercado. Is that enough? One, 
two, no, Rocky is still going. So pretty much the idea was, uh, I think it was, what was it, Emma and you being in a match against, I believe it was CJ Love and, I think, uh, uh, Anthony Morales. But I might have to scratch that now, since this is a divorce. Rocky, oh, look at that, again, show of disrespect. Is that not to put Adonis down? No, Adonis is still kicking and still going. Honestly, I have no idea. And I mean this. I have no idea why Adonis did what he did last week. He's holding his own against someone like this. Well, in that case, it's happening. If Morales is in. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. The divorce is not happening. Oh, he was able to connect with the Kienzan. Is that another put down? The one half of the PXC tag team. No. I fucking love Morales. Pause. You can tell. Oh, look at this. Going for Mach 2. That might be the Cindy card. One, two. No, Rocky is still. What the fuck? <clears throat> what in the actual fuck? Rocky <laughs> is nowhere close to done. Bro, you happy? Divorce later? I don't know. Oh, he said Emma and Drew got divorced, so it's like, I don't think I can use that then. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, able to connect the frog splash. Is that enough? One, two, the, oh my God. I genuinely don't know how Adonis kicked out, but holy shit. Oh, it connects with the suicide dive. Dude, if you do this match, I will non gaily call you the dad. God damn it. God damn it. They they were they were slowly filing a divorce, apparently, and from what we understand, um, those were rumors. It did not happen. Drew Drew uh Drew misheard uh misinformation. <laughs> this is another Drew, by the way. <laughs> there you go, we covered it up. <laughs> Now we're at a count of five. Oh my god, Rock, oh my god. Drew is on drugs. What? The rumors continue. <laughs> oh, that's Rocky thinking. Thinking. They put him down with another. No! Oh, misses it though! No! <laughs> that was possibly his only opportunity there. No! Mikado. Adonis now able to dodge the frog splash. That is Mikado's patented move. And now, oh, connects with the Mach 2. That might be it. Did Adonis just put down Rocky Mikado here tonight? Holy shit. Rocky Mercado was able to put down not just the current PXT, one half of the PXT Tag Team Champions, but a former PXT YouTube Champion. Now with that said, why can't you do that on CJ? <laughs> no, tonight, we are gonna find out is Jacob Tristed Wildfire going into Frost Fight alone? Or is he going in with some backup? Because okay, so tonight it is Devil going one on one against the PXT champion himself, Electro. Want to point out if Electro wins here tonight, Jacob Tristed Wildfire is going in alone against Electro. The immortal Electrobe. Electrobe, the man's gonna win. Maybe, we don't know, we don't know. Oh wow. Michael Wolf displaying a new, uh, some, some new attire here. The unholy making the way out here. 
Now, I gotta, I gotta say this. The unholy domain did want to wreak havoc in PXD. They're sort of placing their focus on the right man. Because Electro quickly fucking rises to the top and quickly fucking became the PXT champion here. But now the question is, can he beat someone like Jacob Tristan Wildfire? Here's the thing, Jacob is a force to be reckoned with. Let's be honest here. Jacob has not made an impact in PXT just as much as Rocky. Or just as much as anybody else in PXT so far. And already he has a PXT title opportunity. Which means that Holy has an opportunity to run this shit. Way quicker than the Syndicate. Also, I've noticed that most of the names of the superstars are all in, like, Capricorn because I always text their names. Uh, I think I always do that, too, yeah. Because I, I, I don't know, it just feels normal because that's what I always did in, like, the other one, too. I never, like, did the lowercase stuff. I just always... Cook. There he is. He is our PXT champion. The Immortal. Electro. But if you all are new here at PXC, the reason why we call him the Immortal is because his time in WWE, he was not only the US Champion, he was the Intercontinental Champion, and he was the World Heavyweight Champion, all at the same time. He was WWE's first ever Triple Crown Champion, as far as I know. <laughs> Roman Reigns could not do, and that's hold three titles. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like stupid. And before y'all count that shitty one he has now as the third, that's a unified one. So really, they just nerfed his two. <laughs> Electro is our true Cody Rhodes. No one cares about how Demob and Slade do the same entrance and Loki Tobe is the original. I don't know about that. <laughs> I just realized both Electro and Shane actually had the. Yeah, they've been around the same time. They both debuted in the same episode. It is main event for part one Devil going one on one against Electro. This is the first time ever in both men's careers that they are fighting against each other. They have never faced off against each other. Both have legendary careers. But never once did they ever go against each other. Oh, big knee to the face. Now Electro's just destroying Devil. But honestly, you can't count Devil out either because Devil has done some crazy shit in the past. No, we thought he was out. When he went against Satoshi, when he was trying to get recruited for the Syndicate, way before the Unholy was a thing. And so now Devil was able to come back at it. Right now, right now Devil's struggling against the likes of Electro. Ooh, this is the big punch and now it's costing him. Oh, big uppercut. Electro, man, maybe, okay, maybe you guys are right. Yeah, Electro might have this in the bag. Holy shit. <laughs> Electro has pure control of this match right now. Yeah, Devil is really struggling against the PXC champion. I want to point out something here, though. Electro was the first ever PXC champion to actually show this much dominance besides Bone Tubular. Bone Tubular is... The only other man to show this much dominance as a champion. Ooh, big punch right now. We're at a count of six. I want to point out, if this ends in ring out count with Devil inside the ring, that does count. Oh, Electro, though, quickly coming back in and catches Devil off guard. Oh, it gets caught in the lightning talent! Man, I'm telling you, yeah, that, that shit, I, man, we might have to nerf that. <laughs> One, two, no, Devil is still going. My God, dude. I would say he's like a Randy Orton more, oh. 
We haven't seen it in a minute. It is one. Two. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is his triple crown moonsault. Is that enough to put Devil down? One, two, no. Devil kicks out of the triple crown moonsault. And it gets caught. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? He got caught in another lightning talent. Is that enough? Yes, Electro destroys Devil. My god, dude, that was worse than CGO versus his Lawler. <laughs> my god, Devil threw in practically no offense at all. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the stipulation is set for Frostbite this Sunday. It is Electro and Jacob just a wildfire one on one for the PXT Championship. Now the question is, is Jacob just a wildfire ready for the likes of the PXT Champion? My God, dude, he fucking destroyed him. He hits the triple crown, doesn't get the pin. His, I want to point out, he hit the lightning talon, didn't get the pin, went straight to his fucking triple crown, didn't get the pin, went to another fucking lightning. He did like three fucking finishers back to back, dude. Dude, it's gonna be a fair fight, yeah? My god. I'm more amazed, dude, shit. Now here's the thing, I want to point out here though. Uh, when it comes to the PXD Championship, no one, no one has been able to hold that title for a month. Could we be seeing the first man ever at PXD be able to hold the title for a fucking month? Uh, welcome to the second half of episode 19. Tonight we are starting off with a little bit of drama in the back. So G7, though he did pick up a win against Rodrigo last week, he doesn't feel like it was enough. He still feels like there's a lot more he has to prove because the loss to Adonis is still eating him a bit. There was one man, though, that came to the back and didn't cheer him up. <laughs> not, not, not like I think the normal way to be cheered up, but the kid. That's right, the kid went to talk to G7 saying, well, if you're gonna feel all fucking down for yourself, then maybe I should take that fucking spot for you. Maybe I should be the one getting the fucking opportunities here. But no, the one time you do, you lose one fucking match and the next thing you know, whoop dee doop dee doo I'm a fucking loser. No! We're here to be champions, damn it! And G7, well, G7 didn't really, like, like the first part, so I think that's what still, like, fired him up. So tonight, it is gonna be the kid going one-on-one -on -one against G7. But tonight, it is a rematch now. This is the second time these two will be fighting one-on-one. -on -one. The last time, G7 did come out and became the victor. Hello, Mac. Hello. How's it going? Oh. What's Zach? I know it's Zach. It says Mac on there, though. Yeah, I'm gonna make bald. Ugh. Old man. I know I'm old. I'm waiting on that damn episode because it's really cool and it has something legendary. It, it actually does. Uh, I'm actually working on that part right now and I'm actually excited with how it's look coming out. So I think it's gonna be cool in episode 18. So look out for that episode when it comes out, guys. Uh, really working hard on it right now. I can't even do the call tonight. All right. Well, that's a good thing we're canceling the call because I do want to finish that episode. The kid coming on in. Now, no, I do want... For people that haven't seen PXC or haven't been just since the beginning, the kid started off PXC on fucking fire. And I mean that. He was on fucking fire. And his momentum dropped drastically ever since he lost to a certain someone, we won't disclose his name, at a bio war. Ever since then, he has been still winning matches, but he never gotten an opportunity. But he was sharing that same type of grief with this man, G7. Now, now G7 was able to pick up a win at Carnage for a title opportunity against CGL for the YouTube Championship. 
Now, he wasn't able to beat Adonis. Adonis was the first man already putting doubt in G7's head. Well, that said, though, last week G7 picked up a huge win against Waldrigo, but even with that, he doesn't feel like it's enough. If Drew wins, Hunter goes bald. <laughs> what the fuck? And I remember that guy back in the day when it was just me and Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> People over there. What? I'm okay. Shane? <laughs> I hate the man who shoved nothing. <laughs> I know. No, no. Honestly, I, I do hate what happened with that individual because I think... I honestly think he would have been a PXC champion. I think he would have gone far. But Ego's clashed, man. Ego just really ruined that guy's chances here and it sucks too here it is we're starting off the night i'm gonna be champ tomorrow wildfire actually shit i'm actually excited about that match i wonder what's gonna happen oh shit the kid going straight up towards g7 but g7 already throwing out his frustration with a huge spine buster oh my god Well, we know who he, we know who G7's a big fan of. <laughs> God damn. He really would have been great if he wasn't an, uh, yeah. No, I, I always think that. I think he would have been a great champion. Just honestly, I think all the originals would be great champions. That's why whenever they're in like title opportunities, I always hope they win. Oh, well, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the fuck happened there. <laughs> He went for a shoulder tackle, but for some reason G7 went forward. Ooh, quick snap DDT. By the way, I'm guessing I'm not booked because of my match tomorrow, right? Yes, yeah, so then everything, everyone is 100% for Frost Fight. And the kid, great transition into a Boston Crab, but wasn't enough, or the Lion Tamer, if I'm correct, or if I'm mistaken. Not mistaken. Ooh, rolling neck breaker from G7 to the kid. And continues, <laughs> continues damage on the head. Honestly, not a bad idea since he does the whole Kingslayer thing. Oh, misses a big punch. Like I said before, both these men have been mid-carters a good majority of their career. G7 has an opportunity now to actually do something and actually become a champion. And not just become a champion, but defeat the undefeatable. C Jill. Oh, but gets caught in a cosmic knee from the kid. Is that enough to put G7 out and ruin his momentum? Going into Frost Fight tomorrow. No. Well, let's take attention off him and back to the match. Who we got winning? Now, honestly, I hope G7 because that builds some momentum. Oh, but gets caught in a cosmic. <laughs> Holy shit. Get going a flying combat and G7 kicks out. Man, you turn away for a second. Shit just happens. The kid immediately goes back up. He's not gonna hit one. Okay. No, he go oh god. And it looks like the crowd's already excited about both these two fighting out. They're asking it for the fight to fight forever. Go on forever. And G7 sends the kid back. Into the mix, back into the ring, and oh, but gets caught in a jumping neck breaker. A jump catching neck breaker, and we're just gonna call it a jumping neck breaker. Youngblood's debut was really good. It, he actually was really good. It, same thing with uh, Johnny T Tagaloa. <laughs> I gotta really work on his last name, because holy fuck, it fucks me up. Not gonna lie, I don't need Devil or Wolf having my back. I won the championship on my own. Story for the PXA. Yeah? Honestly, that is true. I think Michael Wolf just wanted to put a little insurance on it, though. I think, I, I think that's what it was. But either way, I mean, he's gonna... He has, he has a big match coming. Because, hell. Last night, Electro just destroyed fucking Devil. Oh, big punch in the face. Right now, the kid... The kid might actually ruin the momentum of G7, but misses the Flying Comet. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Wait, G7 is going for Kimura? <laughs> wait, what? Never seen a G7 ever go for a big 
Submission hold like that, especially a Kimura. He was good too. He was. Oh, and G7 got busted open. And immediately gets a jumping fist in the face. Right now, the kid. The kid is really taking control. And no, I want to point out, this is the second time we've seen these two fights. So the kid actually wins. <laughs> I think later down the road, he might actually see a rubber band. Match. Oh! And with that, the Cosmic Knee is not enough to put G7 down and ruin his momentum. No! G7 is not giving up. Hunter, the kid and Drew could be great. As a tag team? Maybe. And guess how? Oh, and misses the Cos the Flying Comet! <laughs> Or Cosmic Comet. I forgot what we called it. Oh. <laughs> he missed. I think he missed the fucking flying forearm. I, I don't know what happened there. Oh, but catches it there. And gets caught with a kick up. And oh. G7 looking to rally here tonight. G7 looking to put down the kid with the king slayer is that enough to put the kid out of commission one two no the kid is still going and g7 g7 looks ready he's ready for a fucking fight honestly i thought g7 was probably gonna go for an outside dive but i think he thought second guessed it Oh, look at this. Going for it. Power bomb to the kid. Oh, the kid, though. Kicking. The already high damaged face. Or, I guess, critical face, really, of fucking G7. Yeah, if it doesn't happen already, the kid is taking advantage. But G7's still not giving up. Oh, gets him up. And, oh, what the fuck is this? Uh, this is a good show of strength from, oh, G7. That's actually what we've never fucking seen. Oh, gets caught in the jumping future shock. Is that enough to put the kid out of commission? No, well, he's not going for, he's not going for it. He's still. <laughs> oh, I think he was going for a punt, but misses it. And now the kid catches him in a snap DDT. And now going for, oh, he's going for a jumping elbow, but misses. I'm, a, d d <laughs> both men are now dodging each other's big moves. Oh, the kid gets him up. Cosmic knee, that might be it to put G7 out of commission and ruin his momentum. And it is, the kid gets the victory here tonight. Again, want to point out, this is the second time fighting. G7 was able to pick up the win against the kid. Now the kid got the second round. But now the question is, what's going through the mind of G7? Because right now he is going in with possibly the lowest fucking momentum against the biggest fucking obstacle in his career. God damn. Well, either way, congratulations to the kid on the big win. But with that said, uh, God, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. For Frostfight, a bit of me is going for G7, but that is that is the hopefulness <laughs> going for that. <laughs> um, but either way, uh, we're gonna go on to our next match of the night. So. Oh, last week, uh, the team of Michael Slade and d -Bob, the War Machines, went against the former tag team champions, the Nation of Domination, in tag team action to where the War Machines did come up short. And with that said, Super and Titan win the back and again still demanded, demanded a fucking title match for the PXD Tag Team Championships. We decided to do this. If they want the damn title opportunity so much, they will be fighting for that title opportunity at Frostfight. That's right, we are already confirming another match for Frostfight. It is going to be the War Machines going against the Nation of Domination to see who will be next in line for the PXT Tag Team Titles. But tonight, with that whole new set, Super was the most fucking pissed off about it. 
he feels like they are fucking guaranteed already. It's bullshit that they should already fight for another shot. But with that said, we were like, well, take it or fucking leave it. He was like, this is some major fucking bullshit. And then sure enough, Michael Slade being the John Cena fucking PXT. <laughs> Not, not really, but <laughs> no, no, Michael Slade heard the commotion and he was sure ready for a fight as well. And he said, if you're so pissed off, let me see what you got in the ring. One-on-one -on -one action, let's fucking go. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Michael Slade and Super and wait, what? Okay, this is surprising. Uh, for some reason, Ava and Moreno will also be at ringside for Michael Slade's corner. What? 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 Why? Hello? Mainly because uh, YouTube YouTube is pretty strict, so that's one thing that is going to be like... Bleh. You don't want young blood Zach Wildfire. You want to go, bro? <laughs> that is funny. funny. <laughs> Sorry. They are the war machines. The team of D-Mob and Michael Slade, and with... Okay, see, Michael Slade looked back too, he was like, I don't know why she's back there, but Michael Slade's not getting distracted. He is 100% ready for this. Grab phone and record. Yeah, bro. <laughs> now, no, the War Machines did not pick up the win. They weren't able to pick up the win. Last week against the Nation of Domination. But from what we've seen, and what my full understanding is, the War Machines do excel pretty well when on one-on-one -on -one combat. The same cannot be said about the Nation of Domination, though. Well, actually, not to lie, too, because suddenly when the Outcast happened, the Nation did do pretty well. Also, uh, you know what, uh, holding the story with PXT real quick, what are y'all's thoughts about AOP coming back? Because I think that's fucking wild, but I also think that's going to be so fucking good for Cross. Like, not going to lie, I think it's going to be so good. I just hope they don't do the whole um, Messiah shit. Dude, shut up. I destroyed you twice. I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> he did, to be honest, he did come back to fucking do a lot out of this. <laughs> it was fucking funny, though. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> now, let's, 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 keep it, let's keep it calm in the chat, guys. Let's keep it calm in the chat. I'm just playing with you, bro. <laughs> He's already in character. He's ready. See, he would probably be good for what we have planned then. <laughs> Which we do, we are going to have some stuff planned. Funny part is Rocky pinned you. Damn! Alright, here it is. Oh, oh, wow. Super was going straight up at it, but... Slay was able to stop him in his tracks, but he still wasn't enough. Super's already... Try and take full advantage of the whole situation. And again, I forgot to uh, mute the TV TV. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, now Super is just taking advantage of Michael Slade! No, no, oh, and again, the disrespect from Super. Super is known for disrespecting opponents. Well, just disrespecting his opponents in general. I was gonna say a smaller size, but really, he just hates his opponents. <laughs> Right now, already doing damage to the shoulder there. We got the match of the year, though. I will say this. Yes, I will say that they... They did fucking get match of the year. I will agree on that, because... For a first time ever doing in PXT, I think that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Like, I think Wildfire, Rocky, and Drew have slowly changed the landscape of PXT a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But I will say this, though. Rocky technically did, does have a little bit more success. Mainly because 
He took the title from CJ. He didn't pin him, but he took the title. And he became the first ever PXC Tag Team Champions. And became the first guy in PXC to hold double titles. Just saying. So right now, stat-wise, who's the most successful? It would have to be Rocky. But Wildfire is there too. He is there because he did become the first ever TikTok champion. All right, Michael Slade going for the pin on Super. We are still new, too. Yeah, true. Wildfire, you talk a big game. <laughs> to be honest, though, he can back it up because, hell, he's gone against people that's did the same shit. But, um, God, he, he made them play things. Uh, I think it was his first TikTok title defense against Lawler. Holy mother. It was crazy. But now back to the action. Slade giving some damage to Super. Oh, I think Slade was... I think Slade was trying to lift Super once again. Oh, didn't get it. And now Slade's punching away. Goes for a Russian leg sweep. I'm at. Let's go, Slade. Oh, Slade. Slade lifting up Super. And goes for final verdict. Oh, hey. No, no, no. It's not done. He's going to go for a double final verdict. Is that enough? One. Two, no, Super kicks out. That was Slade's final verdict. And now goes for, oh, big elbow. Is that enough to put Super down? No, Super's still fucking going. Wait, who won G7 and the kid? The kid, the kid picked up the win on that one, which means, oh, wow, oh, wow. Slade, not holding shit back. My God, he just dropped... He just stripped up a fucking seven-footer. Holy shit. Now it's up. Oh, but gets caught with that big boot from Super and another one straight to the face. G7 was bleeding a lot. Yeah, he was. He he did against Rodrigo as well, but he was a... Uh, he was a... Oh, beautiful snap DDT from Slade. See, this, this is why I like having the chat. The chat's just fun because I can interact with the match and then the chat. It's so good. I don't know Hunter is going crazy for Slade picking up Super, but Shane did it first and better. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's not that he picked him up. It's more that he uh, lifted his ass up and then dropped. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Hold up. Check his wrists. Oh, wow. Wow. Disrespect from Slade. Back to fucking Super. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shane. Wouldn't the kid and Drew be a great tag team? Honestly, I don't know what the kid has planned. Because right now, I understand he's still upset. Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, what was, I think D-Mob, I think D-Mob was almost about to cost Slade the match there, baby. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Wait, is Slade going? Wait, no, he's not going for it. Oh, shit. Slade's going... Oh god, Super saw the danger! Super saw the danger! <laughs> oh, it gets picked up! Oh, it dropped! Damn, holy shit! And right now, we are at a six count. We'll say this though, Super is probably one of, if not the most... ...despicable type of fucking fighters here in PXC, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna ignore the five knuckle shuffle. Wait, do we have a name for it? Is it just the fight knuckle shuffle? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, dude. No, it was big, because God had busted it open. That's what I was saying. The ref, check his wrists. Check it. Because <laughs> God, he, he fucking busted, dude. He got busted open. Oh, it's that. Oh. Oh, I think Slade was trying to go for a final verdict again, but does it connect? Oh, no, now Slade. I don't know what Super was going for. Super might be a little disoriented. Yeah, I... Oh, Super. <laughs> Let's try and go for a sneaky. Big boot. My God. Okay, I gotta get props in this match right now. It's, it's a good back and forth between Slade and Super. And Super now got Slade up for a Super Yuranagi. Is that enough to put him out of commission? One, two, no. Slade is still kicking. 
The only tag team I'm focused on is Morales and AJ, or CJ, I don't know. I forget, but yeah, the mixed tag match where Titan in this match and did the nation break up. Yes, Drew, I mean, wait, what? No, the nation's still going. Wait, what? What do you mean the nation broke up? The nation's still going. Oh! Slade's going for, no! I think, I think Super already got caught in one final verdict. We're crashing two. He doesn't want to get caught more. Oh, big spine buster, is that enough? One, two, three, and it is! Holy shit! Michael Slade was able to pin one half of a former tag team champion. Holy shit. I apologize if I'm yelling, by the way, but that shit's fucking crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I guess the term that is... Uh, the term of the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Good shit. That fucked up, Superman. Damn. Uh, first off, congratulations to Michael Slade on the big victory against Super, because holy shit. What did you do, and why is Ava back there? Answer me, you motherfucker. Well, here's the thing. We don't even know why the fuck she was there. <laughs> 100% we actually don't know why Ava was there. She just sort of came in and Yeah, she she just skipped the fuck out after the match. Even Michael Slade's like, what the fuck was that? D-Bob's also confused. So I, I don't know what's going on with that. I, I'm more I'm more confused why she's doing mind games on fucking Michael Slade. Well, I mean, she got a fucking title match against CJ. What the hell? I have to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, we're all confused at this fucking point. But either way, uh, congratulations to Michael Slade on a big victory against Super. That's gonna take some momentum for them going into Frostfight tomorrow. But either way, now it is on to our next match of the night. So, here's the thing, we have not seen the Outcasts in a minute. But, uh, from what I can tell you, the Outcasts uh, are a little bit upset from some words that were exchanged. I will leave it at that. And Shane is the one that's a little bit more uh, hot-tempered, and he wanted a match, pretty much a big fucking match. And when, when we heard uh, the word big fucking match, there was only one man we could think to put him against, B besides the actual, like, nation. So tonight it is Shane Henry versus Jason Castle. But it's there. He spelled a certain word wrong. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> But it has been a while since we've seen the Outcast here in PXT. Uh, from what Shane has told us in the chat, that they are uh, they've been prepping, really prepping for their match at Frostfight. And no, this is this is a huge fucking match right now for them because here's the thing: they have had title. Well, correction: Shane has had opportunities for title shot, and technically he's always came up short. He had a title opportunity shot at Hellfire against Lawler for the YouTube title. He fell short to Lawler. And don't get me wrong, Lawler didn't, uh, didn't have a chance against that fight at all. But, ever since that whole thing happened, Shane has had opportunities again, even at Abyss. But the thing is, he's choked so much. So can things change at Frostfight? Can Shane see a brighter year? <laughs> Next year, yeah, because I was going to say, we are going live on January 1st, ladies and gentlemen. So, a start of the new year, we're starting the new year with PXT. Or, day one of PXT, if you will. No, we're not actually calling it that. But again, he told us he wanted to fight a big, he wants a big match, so we thought he meant a big competitor. He wasn't happy with who we chose, but... Jason Castle, or correction, um, his manager, John Winters. It, it is John Winters, right? I actually forgot his, I forgot his manager's uh, fucking last name. But the warden came to me all his like, I think I have a proposition. And uh, we were like, you know what? It's been a quick minute. The reason we haven't seen Castle in a while is because he was having, uh, he was having parole, actually. He was uh, trying to get parole. As you can tell, it did not go well. <laughs> but with this contract here, he can make light appearances in PXC. 
Now the question is, would this be considered light work since Shane has gone against people like... Never fucking mind. <laughs> Gets caught in a quick snap suplex. Holy shit. Ooh. Catch women with a big jumping knee and gets them with a f inverted Frankensteiner? Or is that just a Frankensteiner? Also, stop talking everything so literally hunting. Stop taking everything so literally hunting. <laughs> Ooh, big forearm to the face of Castle. See, tonight, Shane, Shane isn't just, oh, big fucking dropkick to the face of Castle. But Shane isn't looking to just throw out his aggression. No, 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 no. Shane is looking to make a statement because he knows, he fucking knows the wolf pack is watching. And he wants to show them what's in store for Frostfight. Why not? Oh my god, big series of strikes from Shane. Man, okay, maybe Shane has been putting in work at the gym. Holy shit, dude. Because that, that was a new series of strikes from Shane. Oh god, but also big fucking Itaguri from Castle. Oh, big punch. But still not done. Now look at that. Oh, oh, big maneuver from Shane. Holy shit. Get the two count off fucking Castle. Les, I have left that to the last match. Yes, Drew, he is booked for the main event. Yes, Drew is booked for the main event. It is <laughs> Drew Jeffrey, Emma Jeffrey going against Anthony Morales and CJ Love. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Cause that curtain call, Eminem's reference. Holy shit. Shane's slight hiatus in PXG has possibly earned him the fastest match in PXG history. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's our fastest match in PXG history. Holy shit. But now, now yes, we had already mentioned it before that tonight it is only four matches and Shane, you fucking made the night even fucking smaller because of that fucking quick ass match. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. So, our main event tonight. Uh, let's let's go into how the fuck we got here. So, CJ and Anthony Morales have been fucking talking, apparently. Because uh, from what we understand, uh, CJ has actually been, uh, has been a big fan of Anthony and actually uses some of his maneuvers in her... Um, Arsenal as well, and apparently they they were they were getting in the talks and uh, yeah 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 we don't know if that's uh, that's uh, that's what's going on here but then comes in barging in fucking Emma Jeffrey pissed off not just by the fact that she lost against Ava but she also lost against CJ the uh, two weeks prior and she is so pissed off that she got an actual fucking glass of water or a bottle of water and tried spraying in the face of CJ, but dodged it, and it hit fucking Morales. And because Drew was there, uh, yeah, he did not like how uh, fucking Anthony got super fucking upset of Emma, and became the protective husband that he is, and before shit can escalate into a full-on fucking backstage war, uh, <laughs> we decided to put these two in a match. So that's right, the main event of PXT tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is the team of Drew Jeffrey. I also want to point out, husband and wife, Drew Jeffrey, going as the team of Anthony Morales and CJ Love, our PXT Women's Champion here tonight. And this will be our last match for this second part of episode 19 of PXT. And then we will see everybody at frost fight tomorrow and holy fuck this episode only lasted 40 fucking minutes <laughs> they be fucking what do you mean we don't know that oh wait are we talking about at the jeffries because we all know that <laughs> the damn fucking moon soul <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i want to speak on pxd before my big night can i maybe talk tonight after the show you know what yeah we can do that why not i think that's actually a pretty good idea Shane did not, did stop the fight. <laughs> Honestly, dude. <laughs> Shane, Shane has been putting work in the gym. Oh, oh, hello, actually. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like it's been a minute since we've seen Drew Jeffrey. Don't get me wrong, we saw him last week where Emma went against Ava because he was wanting to support a husband that he is to Emma. But it's been a while since 
since we see him actually in action here on PXT. So I think it's pretty refreshing to finally see him in here. We're not doing that tonight, and I think it's still a little early for a special guest. But if Dmod is on there, then that doesn't count since he's an admin. Oh wait, shit, never mind. I was talking about the podcast. Don't read that. <laughs> No, but yeah, if anything, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that because I think uh, I think that would actually be a good way to also promote that as well. But now they gotta go against the likes of Anthony Morales. Now I also want to point out, Anthony Morales is single-wise undefeated. He hasn't lost in one-on-one -on -one combat, but he did get beaten in tag team action at Carnage against the Outcasts. Honestly, this is a rivalry I can see. I can see Drew Jeffrey going against Anthony Morales. I think that would actually be a pretty cool, like, little rivalry. Flashing red lights, driving at night, window this ride, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in Anthony Morales went against Mason as his debut. He shocked the world with his overwhelming arsenal. And he has not fucking disappointed yes yet here in PXT. The Red Panther, the superhero comes to life is here in the building, fuckers. <laughs> but now the question is how well can he work with the PXT Women's Champion? DJ Love, our inaugural PXT Women's Champion. But not just that, this is her first title in her wrestling career ever in her well, yeah, that's the career of her. <laughs> okay, that's the <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that broke me. She just runs. All of them are just there like, yeah, yeah, where the fuck? <laughs> Smash, to be honest. Wait, what? Who? <laughs> Why are we talking about Smash, CJ? <laughs> well, CJ, you're, you're already, already making waves. Not just in the wrestling world, but possibly in the only thing. God damn it, shut the fuck up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's, let's look. Meh, six out of ten. What do you mean, Smash? Next question. God damn it. <laughs> All right, here it is. We're starting off with Drew Jeffrey and Anthony Morales. Now, it has been a hot minute since we've seen Drew in action. But also, same thing with Anthony. It's been a while. So, finally, refreshing to see both men actually here tonight. Oh shit, big kick to the face. No, no, this is our first ever mixed tag team match here in PXT. So, when it comes to longevity, I don't know how long this match is going to be. But, oh, big move from Morales to Jeffrey. Morales getting Drew into the corner. No, I know, technically Morales can't go for any, like, actual tag team offense that he's normally used to. Oh, but gets him in a... God damn assisted Tornado DDT right there. Holy shit. Reason I say assisted because he was holding his hand. Right now, Morales again just <laughs> going full on crazy with his overwhelming arsenal. And because the tag is made, it is now CJ and Emma Jeffrey. Right now, oh. Emma already taking a little bit of control. Now, no, we did see these two go against each other. To yeah, two weeks ago, after CJ was crowned the PXC Women's Champion, CJ was able to pick up the win, but Emma still hasn't let it go. No, Emma is our first ever uh, PXC Women's signee. So she feels like she deserves that championship. She doesn't feel like she needs to fight for it. She feels like she should have been crowned just by signing the damn thing. And sadly, we told her that's not how it fucking works here in PXC. You gotta earn that shit. Oh, God, big hair, Karana. And now, another tag, and with that, the women are out, and it's back to Morales and Drew Jeffrey. This is gonna be interesting, because <laughs> it's just always gonna be like that. Nah, I'm talking about me. Wait, what? Speaking of Morales, Hash, she's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. But Hunter, I do want to say, look how much PXC has grown to the point people are invested where it's not just me and the chat that shows how creative you are and getting and how people like you for you. Oh, well, thank you. I do appreciate that. Honestly, I, I am I am hella amazed on how PXC has grown. And I am so glad it is growing to the vision that I've been wanting since I was a kid, which is 
an actual show of everyone's creative wrestlers just being displayed and showcased. Now, don't get me wrong, there's some stuff I would like to work on too. Like for instance, uh, everybody being displayed. Cause I do understand there's a lot of people in PXD that have not been shown off like Castle, uh, Cannon, this, hell, Moreno. There's a lot of people and I feel like we got to try finding a way to where uh, everybody can be showcased. And I thought of some stuff. Uh, I just got to see how I can actually make that work. So, but with that said, we are still working very hard in PXT. And we're, I'm still glad that everyone is invested in PXT. But also glad that everyone is full on in PXT as much as they are. So, again, thank y'all. Because literally without y'all, PXT would just be my guys. And honestly, I think it would just suck ass at that point. <laughs> And thank y'all for that. My jokes get funnier and funnier. We want Mason with... We want Mason. We want Mason. Because he has the other thing too. Because, God, see, I would love to have Mason in more matches and stuff too. It's just, it's hard to, like, fit them into the full-on story or so. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Holy shit! Emma, what the fuck? You turn away for a second. Emma's trying to fucking murder CJ here. What? God damn! I just saw her try to choke a bitch! God damn! Holy shit! Oh, right now. Oh, right now. I gotta get props. Emma's actually really holding her ground this time. I think because she underestimated CJ, now that she's already gotten in the ring... Damn, she was choking the fuck out of her. Yeah! But my best joke this far is still calling Jack Daniels Jeff Hardy. That's oh god damn it. <laughs> and she hit the flow of motion on the top rope. Drew Funky, god damn it. Kinky, god damn it! Oh wait! Wait, that was Panthers by is that it? <laughs> One! Two, and Emma saves the match and saves her hubby as well. Also, wanna say this, Drew? Fucking fire with the outfit, by the way. It looks so fucking good. <laughs> Oh, this is the big kick. And now, oh, wait, what's he going? Oh, Morales missing. Missing one of his big maneuvers. Honestly, I think it's the first time. Well, no, but I think we've probably seen him miss maneuvers before, but that one was a big one. Would have been a DQ and survive. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Not Panthers by Panthers. Why is it different now? He rolls into it. Oh! Oh! My God! Hey, but I also want to point out, since it's been a minute since we've seen Drew, Drew, Drew's also pretty much done like what Shane did, and he's really refined his craft a bit now. Oh, CJ saving the match and saving Morales. Ooh, misses the knee shot. So I do gotta get props that Jeffrey is refining his crowd. Holy shit! That was Panther's bite! <laughs> it's a super kick into a splash. <laughs> One day I'll remember these moves. Alright. Love tap from CJ Love Tap and Jeffrey. Is that enough? Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 I think CJ just probably opened the window for Morales to pick up the win here. Why, why didn't, what, what? I'm genuinely confused right now. I am not gonna lie. I'm genuinely confused. All right. Oh! Beautiful, wait, was that it? Was that Panthers bite? This shit was sick. <laughs> oh! Big kick there and, no, that, okay, that has to be Panthers bite, right? <laughs> Oh, Jeffrey though, kicks out. And the crap, man, the Jeffreys, the Jeffreys are just down and out at this point. My God. Emma coming back in the ring, looking to possibly punish CJ. Not done, oh, and stops. The, I don't know if it was the face or the chest of Emma. 
Ooh. Big shot there. Drew's already up. And now tags to where Morales is back in. Oh, wait. Oh, that, okay. That's Panther's butt. He said he rolls into it. <laughs> what? Emma saving her hubby once again. Man, this is going to be a while. <laughs> the super kick splash thingy. Okay, gotcha. Wait, that's pounce or that's bite? I'm confusing the bite and pounce at this point. Because <laughs> it feels like the bite should be the... Oh! It's a favor, sir! On Drew! Okay, look at all my chats. I know I'm confusing them. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, Drew's on the outside. Oh shit! Oh shit! Is that enough to put Emma down? One? No. Oh wow, dude, that looked like a big move. That only got a one count from Emma. Shit! Big knee shot to the face. Right now, Emma is struggling a little bit against CJ Love. And CJ, I want to point out, is actually giving her a seat to fucking up CJ's knee a little bit there. Wait, so can, can the men break up the count? I want to know that. <laughs> can they break up the count? Because wouldn't that be a DQ? Oh, wait. Oh! Look at that again! <laughs> Taking a page out of... Wow! So the, the men can't break up the count. So it's going to be decided by the women. That's fucking awesome. And at the same time, it's a little, it's a little shit. <laughs> right now, the women going crazy in this. Emma gets CJ to the corner. Is she going to go for... God, I thought she was going to go for that choke shit again. Again, I want to point out, she's doing major damage to the knee of CJ. Oh, she is. She's going for it again. <laughs> Look at this. Let's jump the shit out of CJ. God damn. It's fucking crazy, dude. And now goes with the pin. Morales can't break it up. But CJ kicks out. They can. They, they can't, yeah, because if they punch the uh, woman, it's it's out. Oh, look at this. Oh! Oh, look at that. Looking to make the women's champion tap out here tonight. Are we going to see the women's champ tap out here tonight? No! CJ gets out of it. Yeah, so the men can't break it up. Wow. She's doing the flow of motion. Wait, that's the flow of motion? What flow of motion was that weird, like, uh... Wait, are you talking about the choking thing in the corner? I'm calling it that choke a bitch. Oh, this is the big splash. I was gonna. <laughs> no, I can't call it that. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna take a page out of one of Tyler Perry's uh, movies. It's called 1 800 Choke That Ho. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why that's the one thing I took from one of Tyler Perry's movies. <laughs> it's just because it's so fucking funny. It's the way he does it, too. Right now, though, Emma. Oh, look at this, Emma! Taking in the chance of the crowd, but <laughs> doesn't think. I think China. Oh! Oh! Hey! A battle of super kicks! And CJ breaks it up! That was the sickest fucking thing we've ever seen in BXC! <laughs> That was so fucking cool! Oh my god! Dude! That was a battle of fucking kicks right there and Drew fucking won! Clip that, dude, yeah, no, we're, we're clipping that shit. That shit's gonna fucking be a TikTok. That shit was sick. Holy shit. Emma was trying to go for a big move on CJ, but CJ getting out of it. 
Oh, big maneuver with CJ. Is that enough to stop the match? <laughs> End the match. No, Emma still kicks out. So yeah, the women's the women's are gonna be the one to get it. You mean musics? That was the Dragon Serenade. That's what it was called. Actually, that's actually a pretty cool name. <laughs> Big move from CJ Love. Is that enough to put Emma out of commission? One, two, three. With that, CJ Love and Anthony Morales pick up the win here tonight. Shit! Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Wait, is it like that? Oh wait a minute! Hold up! Hold up! Wait a minute! Hold up! Confirmed? <laughs> so just the forces is why? Just because they lost the match. <laughs> Oh, dude. Fucking knew it. They fucking... God damn it. <laughs> the rumors are down. The rumors are set. Apparently, uh, CJ Love and Emma are apparently an item. Holy shit. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a way to... That, that's actually a way to end the fucking deny. Holy shit. <laughs> so, apparently, we're going to be getting, hearing some words from... The challenger of the PXC Championship, Jacob Twisted Wildfire. All right, here he is, the man of the hour, the number one contender for the PXC Championship. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, Wildfire, we understand you have some words for your uh, challenger tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. You have the floor? You have the floor. <laughs> well... PXD champion, Electro, if you want to call yourself that. You don't know how sick and sadistic I can be when I'm in that ring. From what you've seen, if you've been watching any of my matches, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I will tear you limb from limb. Watch your blood spill out, the, spill out on the mat. Hell, I might even drink it a little. I will end your career the unholy darkness will take over your soul those are some big words i get for uh for our pxc champion now uh, if you don't mind if we can do like a small interview with you uh wildfire yeah go on so you were our inaugural tiktok champion and don't get me wrong you did the, the, the title reign didn't last long but with that said do you think that is fueling you with your match for Frostfight tomorrow night against uh, Electro? You see, it doesn't matter what championship I win or lose. If there's a championship involved, if even if it's not a championship match, I will beat the person that holds it. It doesn't matter if it's TikTok championship, PXT championship. Hell, maybe they're in Holy Bank go for the TikTok, uh, the PXT tag titles. It doesn't matter what title they I will win it regardless. Now, with now with that said, with the uh, unholy going tag team, from what we understand, well, what we understand um, um, I was about to say Slade, wrong one, Michael Wolf. Michael uh, Wolf. Uh, from what we understand from his motives when he introduced the unholy, he doesn't really see it as going for titles. But with you winning the title opportunity, do you feel like he's full on changing that ideal? To be honest, I, I think so. I mean. If we have the all the titles, especially on the PXT title, if we have all titles in PXT, that could boost the unholy really high into the ranks. That is true. Honestly, it would also uh, uh, bump y'all already one step ahead of the Syndicate, actually, who y'all guys did go to war at with Carnage, but came up short. But with that said, though, uh, after Carnage, it feels like the unholy is actually making a bit of a comeback not gonna lie because uh yeah you guys were struggling against the syndicate but even in tag team action you guys went to war and y'all came up on top yep we just had to give it our all I mean, the syndicate uh, don't get me wrong they're a hell of a fight but sometimes they just can't handle the unholy yeah i mean the hell the unholy was able to take out cassidy no, don't get me wrong cassidy cassidy is back 
Uh, with Cassidy oh. back, do you think the do you think the syndicate could possibly pose a threat again? <laughs> a threat? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! A threat? They never were a threat, even when they had Cassidy. Without Cassidy, it was easier for us. But with Cassidy back, that's more of a quote unquote challenge, as they would say. But that's completely fine with us. We'll take him out just as easy. All right. Well, well uh, wildfire, wildfire has wildfire been. Has been a damn damn opportunity to actually meet yeah. you and actually talk to you uh honestly good luck on your match tomorrow night against electro uh honestly not even gonna lie here <laughs> breaking fourth wall literally going for your guy tomorrow because i really want an original to have that title <laughs> all right one last thing for um electro right that's his name yes shut up All right, and with that, that has been Jacob Tisted Wildfire, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your time, sir.